What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because in today's video we have some mail to open up. I haven't done a mail day video in forever but the reason I'm doing today's video is because a lot of people have been asking me Spanko, where's that GX binder update? We've been waiting for the ultimate Yu-Gi-Oh! GX collection. Well, I promised that video is coming soon. I wanted to open up this mail first so that I can put what's in here into that binder. I guess spoiler alert, now you guys kind of know what's in here. But if you guys do enjoy these kind of videos, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content. That's really all I gotta say. I don't wanna keep this intro way too long, but I really do hope you guys enjoy these videos and you guys are gonna see some really nice stuff in today's video. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And with that, onto the mail day. All right, so we actually got four pieces of mail, three over here and one that's already opened up. This one I'm gonna show you guys a little bit later. It's a little bit exciting, but I'm gonna show it to you guys in a bit. But first off, let's get into these. First thing I wanna say is I don't know what order these are in. So uh, this is a surprise for me. Like I know what's coming in. I just don't know which one's what, all right? So first thing, like I said earlier, this is for the GX collection. And that's kind of why I'm excited because I finally get to update it for you guys. There's been some major changes. Ooh, okay, you guys are gonna see what it is off the bat here. As soon as I can open this up though. But yeah, there's been some major changes to the collection and I'm super excited to be showing it to you guys because it's gonna look heat. So first thing is first, I'm gonna take this out and you guys are gonna see, oh baby. Super Viacroid Stealth Union Secret Rare First Edition from Gladiator's Assault. Gladiator's Assault First Edition cards are super hard to come by, especially the Secret Rares and the Super Viacroid Stealth Union looks absolutely beautiful. Now this card is pretty much near mint. I kind of started realizing too, that I was like, yo, I'm doing so much of the Jaden stuff that I gotta start getting on the other guys in the GX era. Like, you know what I mean? I gotta start getting on Jesse and Cyrus here and all the other guys. So I was like, you know what? Let's get something into the Cyrus binder section area. So Super Vera card over there, beautiful, beautiful card. Next card over here. I don't even know which one this one is, but I'm super excited because all these cards, all bangers, all bangers. One thing I will say, just before we can, oh, oh, I know what this one is. This one's beautiful. All right, so one thing I will say just before we continue here though, real quick, is that the thing is with this collection, and I've kind of noticed this, and you guys will see it in the collection video when it comes out, but the thing that I've noticed with the collection is kind of like, I've been picking up all the high rarity, more expensive cards of the collection, and there's a lot of stuff to fill out that's a lot cheaper and a lot easier to come by. So I should start doing that and filling it out more, but yeah, anyways, we'll talk about that when we get into the collection. For this though, this is super exciting. And this one, this card over here, funny enough, has a story. So this Cyber Barrier Dragon Ultimate Rare First Edition, I'm gonna actually show it to you guys and then explain the little story behind this card. Because this one's kind of funny. Okay, so as I pull this card out, you guys are gonna notice that this card is not necessarily near mint. You guys see these white spots, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, there's no major damages to it, I would say. There's no like super major, major damages. What the funny story about this card essentially is, by the way, it looks beautiful, even here on camera, and it looks even better in person, but this card is beautiful. So what's funny though, and what happened here with this card is, essentially I got this off of one of my friends on Instagram. He actually purchased the card, but when he purchased it, it was supposed to be near mint condition. Now, the person who sent it to him, showed him pictures and all that stuff, and it was near mint condition. However, what ended up happening was I think it in the mail it got damaged, something happened to it in the mail. And because of that, it had these like little damages and whatnot on it. So it's not near mint anymore. You guys can see there's like a little bit at the top there as well. It's not like bad by any means, right? It's a little bit off center, but there's nothing bad by the damages on this, right? So my friend who wanted a near mint copy obviously didn't get one. Now it wasn't the seller's fault, uh, but my friend was like, hey, I'm gonna go buy another one and it's gonna be a near mint one. So he wanted to offload this one to make some of the funds back so he can purchase a near mint one. Now the prices on this for the near mint versus a like lightly played or a moderately played are big, big difference. There's like a big, big difference, right? So my friend was like, yo, I'm just trying to recoup some money on this. And I was like, you know what? I'll get this off of your hands. I don't mind a little bit of whiting on these. And it was a really, really good deal. I think I picked it up for 20 bucks, 22. Maybe 22. No, maybe it's 20. I can't remember. Regardless, 20 or 22 bucks. And I was like, yo, I cannot say no to that Ultimate Rare First Edition. Beautifully beautiful card. So it's a funny story because this card actually shouldn't have been mine. My friend should have actually had this. But because of the mail issue that happened, I got to get this card for a really good price and a really good deal. So there's two cards over here. Now, before we get into our last piece of mail over here, because I know what this one is now, 
But before we get into our last piece of mail, I do want to show you guys something really cool. So here you guys saw that it was already open. And I want to bring this to you guys' attention because we actually have a new sponsor and a new affiliate to the Spanko channel. So here you guys can see a little field center, not just any field center, but it's an authentic field center, 34 out of 250, so only 250 are made, a Kaiba Corp, and it's actually metal, okay? So I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I don't know if you guys heard that, but it's, it's metal, okay? First of all, this thing is absolutely beautiful. And this is actually a new affiliate with Smart TCG. Now I'll put up a video on the screen of how this works, but essentially this field center, the reason it's called the Smart Field Center is because this chip over here, you can tap it with your phone and you can actually program this chip to take you to any app, any website as soon as you tap your phone. Now, wherever you go, if you go to your locals, if you go wherever you want, let's say you wanna use the Neuron app, all you gotta do is put this field center on the board, you tap it, it'll send you and it'll open up the Neuron app. Now, if you're a YouTuber like me, or if you're a business person who does Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, you could also link this to your website, to your YouTube channel, to whatever you want. This card is beautiful. I, I keep saying card, it's a field center, but this field center is absolutely beautiful. Only 250 of these made, and uh, there's gonna be a lot more designs. So there's not just this one, there are more designs, of course. The Kaiba Corp one is just absolutely stunning, in my opinion, and, and, there's new designs coming out soon. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. I got a little sneak peek, but I can't tell you guys what it is just yet, but there are new cards coming out soon and new designs coming out soon for these field centers. So if you guys want 10% off your purchase, all you guys gotta do is look at the description below. There's gonna be a link or go on smarttcg.com, use the code SPANKO10 for 10% off your purchase. And that's it, that's all you gotta do. It supports the channel, it supports this new up and coming company. And to be honest with you, more than anything, this is really the future of the TCG. Like, this is kind of cool. The fact that it's a field center, I can use this. It looks pretty, like it looks beautiful, but it also has a lot more practical like use than any other field center you guys will just find like anywhere else, right? And the fact that it's metal is really, really nice. So I'm gonna put this over here to the side now. Smart TCG, like I said, 10% off, Spanko 10. Last piece of mail over here. This one's exciting. And I'm actually kind of happy that this one came up last, even though I didn't even mean for that to happen. I am happy for this one that it's last because we actually got some news regarding what you guys are about to see. And oh, yes sir, the Ancient City Rainbow Ruins. Now this card, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's not near mint, it's not even close to near mint. It's more like heavily played to be honest with you. It doesn't actually look that bad. This is the only part that kind of is annoying, but I got this on auction for really, really cheap. Like it was going on auction and and it was like it went way under market value, right? And the best part about it is I got this before the Crystal Beast Structure Deck was announced. I think the card has gone up a little bit in price since the Crystal Beast Structure Deck has been announced, but this card is absolutely beautiful. I'm happy I can add it to my collection. If I do get a better copy in the future, probably, I will maybe use this for the deck itself. But for now, this one's gonna be going into the binder. I know the card is not near mint and I know the card has like its issues, but I'm gonna be real, it's a beautiful card nonetheless beautiful ultimate rare over here now the thing is like you guys can see other than this like little i guess pen mark i guess you could call it i don't know i got, I got it on a really good deal i couldn't say no but other than this like there's nothing really bad with it other than some like whitening now you guys can see some of these like dents and stuff that's i think more on the sleeve no that's not really yeah that's, that's on the sleeve here that's not really on the card so the card doesn't actually look bad outside of this and then some whitening on the edges but it's not horrible so that's it for the mail day i'm really excited these are some beautiful beautiful cards and like again, the best part about these are there's these are some cheap ultimate rares I got. Got kind of luckily this one on bid and this one just because my friend needed to get it off his hands. And this one, beautiful card I got on a pretty good deal as well, I would say. I think I got it for now that I look back at it, like 30 bucks. 30 bucks. And I, I think this on TCG is way more than 30 bucks. I think this is like closer to 50. I think I paid like 30 bucks for it. So it was a really good deal. Couldn't say no to these. Now I'm really excited and the reason I'm really excited is because I get to add these to the collection and because these are now in the collection, I can finally show you guys the updated collection which is going to be maybe not the next video but it's going to be a few videos from now. I promise you guys are going to see it soon. I'm not going to spend forever and wait forever to put that out. I promise I'll put it out as soon as I possibly can. But if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content. Oh, oh, I love adding cards to my collection, especially Ultimate Rares, baby. I love Ultimate Rares. Thank you guys all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And with that, Spinko, I don't know. Peace.